Students for Liberty is great. It's a wonderful organization. It's essentially a network and they promote the ideas of personal responsibility, limited government. So it's more about the ideas and educating college students and also getting them out for events so they can hear and listen to excellent speakers on different topics. They're just kind of an engine that helps drive the, the thought train. Like, um, to, that's a good atlas drug to find. Uh, I got introduced to Rand through my Students for Liberty group. Um, kind of when I was in my first or second year in college, I was still figuring out my political affiliation. I knew that I wasn't, you know, Republican or Democrat or, you know, their respective philosophies, something in the middle, and I a lot of exploring to figure out that, hey, I'm a libertarian, or have been my whole life, now that there's a name for it. But uh, my SFL chapter got me into reading a lot of Hazlitt and Hayek, and I stumbled upon, you know, Rand, and I went through, I was shrugged, it took a long time, but I went through it, and uh, amazing book. I attended the International Student for Liberty Conference. It was at that conference that I came across I'm a shrug, I met it, and loved it. I and then it, just a year later that I started the Objectivist Club at the College of Charleston. I, think I probably discovered Ayn Rand after uh, the Ron Paul campaign because that's kind of when I got on board with the libertarian type philosophy. My father handed me his copy of Alice Shrugged, and I was fascinated by it. And I was also really excited because she was a female, and that was inspiring for me. The best part on set um, is just meeting with the interns. I get to be an extra in one scene. I get to uh, meet with the producers. We get to ask questions, and then the producers offer their wisdom to us and get to know more about how the movie industry works. It's just insane to see you know the film process done on such a large scale that I've not been used to. You're basically moving massive armies, coordinating with a ton of different people, and it all gets done. I definitely want to be a part of. Hollywood filmmaking, but be like the voice of reason within it, so make films like this. It's good to have Atlas Shrugged made into a film because it's conveying a message that a lot of people need to listen to, and it's doing it in a very interesting and creative way that captures the audience's attention and also brings home a very important message. John Gold is the hero. It's the person that everyone should try to achieve and to be that ideal person and try to uphold the the principles of liberty and freedom. He's a person that is willing to stand up and make a change. John Galt was an idea, and that idea is that man creates his own purpose, and man is meant to be free on an individual basis.